shave their faces, real men shave. Good morning, their Steve and Dave Chamber. This morning, I'm going to have a shot. You've obviously, what are you tuning in for? If it wasn't for that, what else would it be? You'll notice that on some of these, let me just go to where it should focus. My fear. It's got three, four on the top there. Um, it's a handy way besides using a permanent pen to just mark a side so you can keep track of how many shaves you're having on a blade. So, you know, I do find flipping it helps. Today, the Parker 99R sent to me by a very generous patron. It's a big shiny one and my favorite, it opens and closes at the base. So unlike another one, which I often, this is great for a lady's leg shaver. And the reason is, ladies will be holding it like this and stroking like that. Okay, their fingers are gonna be nowhere near this one. Whereas on a ladies, their fingers are gonna be up near the turning knob. So, men's, ladies. Now I was gonna shave this morning, but I'll save it for a day, another day. Word to your mama, vanilla and ice from, so it's vanilla and ice from K Shave Works. Another day, because today's Wednesday, and if ever there was a day of the week that is promptly named Hump Day, it's Wednesday. So I went and acquired myself a big Hump Day. I want to have this, and the scent on this. Oh, this is everything I like from about three K Shave Works soaps, all in one. Now don't get me wrong, love them individually, but when you can get them all in one. Get yourself some humpy. I've pushed a bit into my bowl. From K Shave Works, we have two brushes. One is a synthetic and it's beautiful and soft. Nice and stout. Really pretty. Acrylic colored handles. I asked for red, white, and blue. This is red, white, and blue. Now, to be honest, I passed on this to begin with because I asked them to redo it and they came up with this one. Okay, this is more like I wanted, something a bit longer, the grip on this, the shape, just fits your fingers like that for shaving. It's just brilliant, brilliant grip. And, uh, oops, K Shave Works logo. This one has got a silver tip, best badge of silver tip. It's not overly processed and you can tell that. The overly processed ones are very, very white. You don't get very, very white bedroom unless you process it. So this is a very natural. So it's gonna take, it's got a little bit more stitch in it and it'll take a little while to wear in. It will probably wear out in someone else's lifetime. It is a very nice knot and it's in an absolutely beautiful handle. So which one should I use this morning? The answer, I'm soaking the badge. Right, got my blade in, so that one's ready to go. While that's soaking, I'm just gonna go and do some face prep. And then I'm out, probably for the rest of the day. I've had a shower, but it was a couple of hours ago, early in the morning, before I got sidetracked. Oh, it's weird looking at myself in the um, camera, the iPhone, um, without my glasses on. I... Plus, your eyes are narrowing down. I swear I look cross-eyed. Let's correct that and put my eyes back where they belong in my head. Well, that looks better. <laughs> uh, don't recognize myself without glasses anymore. Like I said, I'll push some in. I'm just gonna give it a few seconds with a bit of hot water. Basically, because I like, even in the summer, I like my um, bowl just to have the temperature taken off it. Got my badger, just a little bit of squeezing out. And let's see how this sucker goes. Well, zero problem eating up the uh, soap at the bottom. Now, being brand new and a first use, now I did clean it. I know about cleaning my brushes now, thanks to um, Whip Dog. Um, Whip Dog, thank you very much for including a replacement brush. I noticed that and I've been meaning to say thank you very much, but uh, one of their high-end ones too, which I'll shave with another day. Now, here we go. Love hump day. Shaved with it before, so there's no surprises. The face feel, oh, it's like a pillow on your face. Now, anybody can make you a good brush. You know, there's lots of people can make you a good brush. 
But only K Shaveworks can make your brush now with the word K Shaveworks on it. And when you're using one of their soaps, I know it sounds stupid. I can hear the voice of my head going, it makes no damn difference to the shave, but it's nice when the brush and the soap come from the same vendor. I don't know, it's for the OCD in us. So here we go. These Supermaxes are really good. They're cheap too. Still prefer my Persona. They're still number one. Feather bouncing around there depending on the razor. But Supermax is for day to day. I don't know what I'm doing with the um, fluff on my face. My plan was to take it off, but I don't know. It just hasn't happened. You'll notice I didn't use any pre-shave. By the way, this one is a lot milder a gap than the one I got on here. This one has got quite an aggressive gap. But the 99R, not so aggressive. Although it doesn't feel aggressive, I can tell you, probably only needs its two passes today. So that's an efficient razor. It weighs a bit. The uh, brass in the handle, chrome finished from Parker, and it deserves its title as a heavy. I'm guessing it's around 120 to 130 grams. Having said that, I've held heavy razors. I have a bunch of them, but on the stainless steel handles, this one hasn't wearied me when I've tried it. The upside of getting some soap on my glasses every day is I remember to clean them. Because <laughs> I probably wouldn't remember otherwise. Now, you will have noticed that I've started two new groups. And I found a second admin for each. But when you get as many mail calls as uh, I have, you start thinking about the best knife to have handy for opening them. So, I started talking to Hunter about knives and uh, reawakened an old passion. So I thought, well, okay, if you've got a passion, have a group. And watches, today, the lover. Now, whenever someone does moon watches, yes, there was a backup astronaut that went to the moon with a blower. No, it was an automatic movement. And yes, the wrist watches worn on the moon by the um, by the astronauts, predominantly at the beginning, was from Amiga that won the award and contract. But there was a reason why Amiga won the award and contract. A little bit of trivia. They made, certainly, the best automatic movement of the day. Right? So they deserved to win the contract for an automatic movement. But Belova had gone and invented the tuning fork. Now, if ever you've opened up a watch, particularly a quartz one, and particularly the old ones, you remember um, there was a coil about yay long full of copper? That was a tuning fork. Well, the coil for it anyway. So they invented this tuning fork that was super accurate. We're talking um, a normal tick on a high grade watch is say between six, seven or eight. Um, six for your general ones, seven for your um, step down Amigas and eight for your Swiss watches, pretty much. So um, eight ticks per second. But uh, one of the absolute genius things about um, the tuning fork and then the transistor that replaced it, and you know those as coarse quartz watches for keeping time, was that um, that was super accurate. They ticked tens of thousands of times a second, right? Their frequencies was in the, you know, high, you know, 15 to 250 um, hertz per second, not a few ticks. The result is, if you have a look at this one, you'll notice that the second hand isn't ticking, it's clean sweeping. Now, most watches tick, the lovers, clean sweep on the precisionist line and a couple of other lines that they do too. What this means is they had super accurate timekeeping, which is an absolute necessity for things like satellites. Now, below they went to the moon. They're in the spacecraft that went up, the lander that came down and the rover that they drove around in, right? Because you needed to know where you are and you needed accurate timekeeping for the onboard electronics. But, 
This information was top secret. Telling the Russians that um, a consumer company had produced something so useful made it classified information. So Belova were asked not to submit a watch. So they didn't, right? And there was just the usual competitors, the old automatic movements, which is fine. Eventually Belova got um, one of their watches on the moon. Congratulations, every other man his dogs tried to get one of their watches on the moon. Brilliant. But it was the Belova technology that was used by the US in their satellites. Okay, because super accurate and you needed accurate timekeeping. So if you've got a phone with GPS and you use it in your car, thank you, Belova. Eventually, um, tuning forks were replaced by the much smaller integrated quartz chip um, by the Japanese and welcome to the digital age full on. But still a useful technology, still keeps accurate timekeeping. Um, and I love the clean sweep of the Belovas. So just a bit of history. Um, Amiga, make, back in the day, made a really good automatic movement. However, little known fact, the original Amiga that went to the moon was a manual winder. There was no automatic watches um, back then, couldn't get the accuracy. And if you go to Wikipedia and you read what the automatic watches, sorry, what the um, watches that they had, what they did and how they functioned, um, you'll know that they had to survive G's and they had to survive heat and then freezing and then heat again. So, you know, full credit to Omega for getting their watches through that very cumbersome list. I'll also point out the Russians were sending their um, astronauts up into space, they were pilots, but astronauts up into space um, with really cheap, you know, five, fifteen dollar Today, you can still buy an astronaut watch from Russia for about $35 US or something, $30 Australian sometimes. And these are still watches that are made today in Russia, and they're really good timekeepers. Um, they're not, you know, whereas the West went for high precision and brand names, the Russian ones, they just work. We bow. We no need watch. Anyway, I'm Steve, your Daily Shaver, obviously a raven lunatic. One day I'll talk about knives, and you'll really want to, you know, pop me in the roundhouse. Remember, good food, good friends, good shades, and while it's nice to be important, it's important to be nice when you're going about your week and it's the middle, I suggest Wednesday be tagged hump day, right? Wednesday is hump day. Get yourself some hump day. When it gets to Wednesday, you have some. You can have some on Saturday night as well when, you know, you're staying up if you're around the world and got to wait for the Wet Shavers Roundtable. For me, it's Sunday morning. But hump day, oh, it's like, Three beans and dolly bones. And the scent just lingers and it's great. If you share a little few more pesos with K-Shave Works, oh, just let me squeeze out my brush here. Try to make it presentable. Oh, real squeeze. Okay, there we go. I have got no complaints, nothing but happy. This is um, Kevin. Wow. Wow. Absolutely no drama. Yes, I've got, you notice, the lines. Like there were soldiers all behind each other from biggest to smallest. Uh, there's not much to say about that except they've gone for the fan type, which looks pretty. And in the smaller handle, again, love the grip. Okay, I, what happened was I said no to this. They made me that and I came to get some money together. I said, you better give me that as well. <laughs> leave it. You've shown it to me. Put a cheaper um, um, synthetic knot in it because I'm a big fan of synthetic knots. And this fan is beautiful. Just absolutely. And uh, so now I've got a couple of custom brushes. Didn't cost me an arm and a leg. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to K Shave Works. Some hump day. I'm going to go over shave another day with the new vanilla rice. And this thing is um, a, a complex to be honest, you know who I'd give this to? I'd give this and this to a lady shaver, right? Something where they can shave holding the end. And it's got enough weight, this one, that um, it'll do all the shaving as they tow it along. And for a lady scent, this is not to say that men can't, I'm smelling it and I'm going, well, I mean, oh, don't get me wrong, I love, I love just about every scent I've ever tried of this. But uh, I could see this one and Cherry Bomb being really big with the ladies. Lady Shave too. And really smart ladies go and get themselves a couple of nice scents and a good razor. I'm starting to sweat in my bathroom. We've had some awesome hot weather. 
Um, so if you're freezing your little bananas off up in the northern hemisphere, understand that the igloo down here is melting too. It's David daily shaver, remember. Okay, now I remember what I've got to say. <laughs> remember, I'm Stevie Daily Shaver. Good shaves and goodbye.